welcome to the video and I hope that you are feeling awesome. Alright guys, on today's adventure we are on the Trent and Mersey Canal system. We're between the bridges of 66 and 67. I'm starting in Rougie and I'm working my way up the country because the entire canal system is 93 and a half miles and where we are in Rougie is about on the halfway mark. So let's see what we can find along this canal. The Trent and Mersey Canal was authorised by Act of Parliament in 1766 and construction from Charlow to Preston Brook where it joins Bridgewater Canal was completed in 1777. The canal was designed by James Brinley who mapped out a route with more than 70 locks and five tunnels. James Brinley saw the canal as being a big part of a network linking the four great rivers of England together. That would be the Mersey, Trent, Severn and the Thames. The canal made it possible for businesses to move their stock around the UK in large volumes. This made it easier to mass produce consumer goods. The canal was championed by the Stoke-on-Trent potter and entrepreneur Joe Syatt Wedgwood. As Wedgwood high-end pottery was fragile and could easily be damaged when it was transported by road, considering if you think about the roads how they used to be, Wedgwood believed that his goods were more likely to be delivered in one piece if they were transported by water. What is the purpose of this? You know, is that a drain that leads from the main, like, roads down here? Not too sure. We have another one there. But this one's less decor. Strange, I wonder what that was for. Hmm. Wonder if there's any more. Ooh, we have some birds just to chill in there on the grass over there. And we also have the River Trent. That there is the River Trent. Let's see if we get a better view of the Trent just up here. This is not quite the same as what we've seen previously, but this looks like to be another hole or drain over there. So it must mean that those little holes that we've been seeing going across over this side mean drainage from the actual main road. This is a better view now of the uh, River Trent. I totally agree. Are we having an argument there? <laughs> oh god. Alright, let's get back on track. Or, on this case, let's get back on the water. They must have some decent views up there, I tell you. On the left hand side we've got the Trent and Mersey Canal and on the right hand side as you can see there we have the Trent River. Ooh. Interesting. Do you suppose you lift that, that what goes up, so this is the drainage for this, and it drains underneath here, and it must come out somewhere, oh yeah, look, it must come out down the bottom there, into the River Trent, interesting, it's got to be some sort of a drain, don't know how heavy this will be, Ooh. whoa, okay. All right. Wow. 
So that must have been some sort of a um, a locking mechanism on that um, on that block there. Wow, cool. Ooh, two beautiful swans. Here we go, we are now going over the aqueduct. Yeah. Hello there. Okay, what's this purpose of this? Was this a locking wheel mechanism? You can see the, the holes there where would have been. Does that get wound up or down? If you're down here. There is a little bit of water in this area here. You can't really see it on camera, guys, but there is a little bit of water in that area. So could this be another drain of sorts? No idea, guys, what that is. Interesting. This bridge here is 67 as well. So is there two 67s on this uh, canal then? But this bridge is a new build. Oh, here we go, we've got another signpost coming up. Ooh. I don't know where I'm going guys, but this looks intriguing. Oh, what's this? Oh my god, this ground is slippery. Look at that. Wonder what that used to do. There's nothing else here. Alright. Let's see what we can find. Wow, this bridge is tiny. Tell us now, I'm looking forward to the rest of the journey. Oh, it looks like we have to cross over the uh, Trent and Mersey Canal here. There we go, that's bridge 68 there then. Oh, it looks like we have the train line to our right here. Here we do. Well, it looks like if you go over this bridge, you go that way, you go back the way we've just came. Right, we are now walked over the bridge. So look, we have a freight train there coming into Rugeley. Twenty-six. Wow, that's a lot of containers, guys. It's funny how we were talking about the safest way on uh, to travel many years ago was on water, but it looks like now, the better way of doing it is uh, by train. Hi guys, we have now swapped sides of the River Trent. Before the Trent was to our right and now it's to our left. We 
we got here? Aha, here's one of those. This one looks like a was well, not that long of working, but there you go. It looks like you've got it underneath all of this, goes into there, goes across there. Unfortunately, I can't get into that area. Goes on top of this. That must be some sort of a locking mechanism, and it drains down into there to the River Trent. Ooh, ooh! I'm so gonna go down here. Oh, guys, look at this! What is this water source we have here? Ah, it goes right under there. That's what shoots off. So that goes all the way underneath this canal towards that way. It's hard to imagine what it used to be like back in the day, considering how peaceful and relaxed it is as the present day. And think about how many narrow boats used to go up and down this canal, you know, moving their shipments of stocking, etc. And yet now, it's peaceful. What you can hear is geese. <laughs> All right, we're coming up to our next bridge, guys. Wow, look at the stonework on this bridge. Not much gap for you to walk here, so you have to be crouched over. Wow. Alrighty, we found another mile marker. Oh, this one's not very good condition, guys, but you can shout out 35 miles, Brestbrook 57. Wow. Private fishing, no day tickets. Oh, okay. So you climb over that to go over there. Oh, nice. Huh. Now this is what I'm talking about. I believe I'm ready for a nice cup of coffee. Cheers. Wow, guys, it looks like I have visitors. Feel much refreshed now. All right, I'm going to commence my little adventure on this uh, lovely canal system, the Trent and Mersey. I must admit, it has been eye-opening what I've seen up to now. What's this? So this is like a area for overspillage from the canal. It comes onto here, and it goes down here. As you can most likely see some of the water. I zoom in there, you should be able to see some water sort of moving. Right, that's coming off the canal system into the uh, River Trent there. You see what I mean? It goes underneath that, goes into the uh, River Trent, which is here. Ooh, we have two horses there. God, you guys make a lot of noise. That scared you. <laughs> Oh, what do we have here? It's another one of those locking mechanisms that we've seen before. So that goes underneath here, and it comes to this bit here. You know I'm going to do it. You know I got to. It's the rules. So yeah, that looks like a locking mechanism there. But this one. It's not as flexible as the other one. This one's firmly in place. And there you go, you, it goes out to there into the River Trent. Here we are. We're up at um, Bridge 79. All right, let's have a look at this bridge. Well, I believe the road 
or bridge is called the A51 it goes to stone that's sweet I like that, that is kind of cool and if we look just over there, that bridge there, the River Trent runs underneath that and the Trent goes at that direction there what do you suppose this thing is? what have we got here? I can't read the sun, right gas limited before excavation or general car. oh okay Alright, I've actually seen a few of these but not been this close to one and it looks like this is this is where a pipe, a gas pipeline is going in this area here. Crikey, just look at all these tree trunks just left there. And they're quite big ones as well. There's our next marker here. Let's head out 36, Preston Brook, 56 miles. There's some really freaky stuff in this water. I don't know if you can see that, there's some, those lines or something on top of the water. Really? Okay. <laughs> oh, ducks are so cute. What we found here. Just look at that. Bridge 71 now guys. Come up here. Oh good smell of manure here. Look at that. Now that was worth the walk to get to this. There we go guys, our first lock. Absolutely awesome, just look at this. Wow. You can imagine it like years ago, can't you? How many canal boats used to come in for it, had to wait to get through this lock, and then obviously shoot off straight that way towards Rugeley. Now this was worth it. Ooh. Wow, that bridge, guys. It's been there for many years. 
Alrighty then. I have enjoyed today's adventure. I have seen so many beautiful things that I am looking forward to seeing the rest of this lovely canal system we have here. I will be stopping it at this one. I will be picking up at Bridge 71 on a future uh, video. And I hope that you have enjoyed today's video. But anyway guys, I want to say thank you guys for coming to watch this video. And always try to do your best to stay positive and screw all those negatives. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Alright, bye-bye.